Hey class, um, today we have a guest speaker, Professor Arpit Panda from in Indian Institute of Technology. Today he'll be discussing biologically active natural products, so please give him a warm welcome and your undivided attention. Namaste. My name is Arpit Panda. I'm professor of organic chemistry at Indian Institute of Technology, Kanpur. I feel very privileged to be talking to all these talented and interested individuals. So what are biologically active natural products? Natural products are products that are found in living organisms. And biologically active products are products that can go undergo chemical reactions in living organisms and cause beneficial or adverse effects. So there are several classes of these types of products. From animals come products called peptides. From microbes come products called tetracyclines. From plants come products called alkaloids and phytosterols. So class, we will talk about a certain class of compounds derived from animals called tepratides. Now tepratides, a good source of tepratides are the venomous pit vipers from Brazil called Pothrops gerara, ger, gerara, gerarica? Excuse my English, sorry. Anyway, tepratides are polypeptides and they're synthesized by dehydration synthesis which is a very common reaction that I'm sure all of you know. What occurs is you have the amino group of one amino acid and the carboxyl group of another amino acid. The OH group leaves from this amino acid and the H leaves from this one and water escapes and you basically have a peptide bond formation. This is a common reaction so I expect all of you to know this. The reason it works as an antihypertension agent is because your body has a pathway called the renin-angiotensin pathway to increase blood pressure. Now, tepratides are ACE inhibitors, so they prevent conversion of angiotensin 1 to angiotensin 2. And by doing that, they stop blood pressure from rising. And that is a very, very good thing. Yo, 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 Dr. P, I, I, I don't understand, man. What's a blood pressure? Surely you're joking, Mr. Phil. Moving on, now we will talk about a class of compounds called tetracyclines. Tetracyclines are antibacterial agents or antibodies. They're called tetracyclines because they have four hydrocarbon rings. They're known to be biologically active for the treatment of infections of urinary tract, diseases, and intestinal diseases. So if that did not make sense to you, Basically, they help you go pee pee. Now, the synthesis of tetracyclines is a little difficult, but I will give you a flavor. I'm sure all of you have learned in class of epoxide formation, right here. This is called the Williamson ethers, ether synthesis. So, this process is very important in the synthesis of this compound. Another process that's important is called acylation. And here is an example of Friedel-Craft acylation. So to make this compound, you start with the benzene ring, then you have epoxide formation, then you have an acylation step, and then you use a catalyst called LiOTF for oxygen to get rearranged and the ring to get closed. And this process is sort of repeated over and over and over and over again, and you finally get tetracycline. Yo, Dr. P, so tetracycline, is that some kind of a bicycle? No, 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 no. Okay, now we will talk about something called phytosterols. Phytosterols encompass plant sterols and stanols. So all these compounds are actually steroid derivatives. And they have three hexane rings and one pentane ring. So that usually forms the backbone of all these compounds. You will be interested to know the effects of these compounds. They actually lower cancer risks 
and reduce cholesterol levels. And that is very important to me because, you know, we all eat curry every day. So one example of phytosterol is beta cytosterol. This is a very famous example. And here is the structure. And it looks very much like cholesterol, our good friend. Now synthesis of phytosterols is beyond the scope of this lecture. So now we will talk about our last set of compounds called alkaloids. So alkaloids are derived from plants and examples include morphine, cocaine, digitalis, quinine and nicotine. Specifically in class today we will talk about cocaine. I hope you have never tried it. When I was a young kid they put cocaine in baby powder. So we will specifically talk about cocaine. Hopefully today I can give you a taste of cocaine. Synthesis, synthesis. So we begin with two precursors. One is a commonly found compound called acetyl-CoA and another one is a pyrolinium right here. It is rather difficult to synthesize so we will just assume we have it. So the first part of the reaction is you have an enolate ion of your acetyl-CoA. The enolate ion, anion, acts as a nucleophile towards the pyrolinium cation and it undergoes a manic-like reaction to form a uh, set of enantiomers right here. To these set of enantiomers you can add another set of acetyl-CoA to get a beta dicarbonyl and this process is by Clayson condensation which I'm sure you've heard of. This beta dicarbonyl compound can go oxi undergo oxidation to get this compound right here. This compound right here you will again see a manic like reaction because you have another enolate anion right here and a positive charge in the nitrogen to get this right here. This is a tropane because it is a bicyclic nitrogen com containing compound. This tropane undergoes hydrolysis and reduction to form this. This intermediate then undergoes ester bond formation to finally come to our product, cocaine. Okay, let's talk a little bit about the effects of cocaine. So, I'm sure you've all heard of dopamine. Dopamine is a neurotransmitter that affects brain processes that control movement, emotional response, and ability to experience pleasure and pain. Dopamine is reabsorbed and recycled, and this serves to regulate the level of neurotransmitter present in the synapse, which is the gap between neurons. Specific transport proteins bind to neurotransmitters and facilitate their reuptake. So cocaine actually prevents dopamine reuptake by binding to its transport protein. As a result, more dopamine remains to stimulate neurons and this causes prolonged feelings of pleasure, excitement. So cocaine's effects on the central nervous system peak within a few minutes of consumption. As a result of these effects, cocaine is highly addictive. Heard a lot of talk about me and my effects, them bam worldwide, all natural. From adverse to benefits to right back on top, the FDA still mad at me for pushing that complex structure, all natural, secondary metabolite. And I'm the penicillin for your suture, dopest I will be, cause I am the cocaine. See the plants, see the trees, I'm all up in it. Pharmacognosy, and that's how you find it. But I'm also marine life and animals OG around since traditional medicine I'm too hard to make, synthesize A born inhibitor, target the macromolecules It's simple, gotta use me as a template Like a precursor, I'm a compound leader you know nature, did your best at making me Now your baby don't became, became a drug When I'm out of themselves, the only, only way they, they see, see is me Metabolism, metabolism changes to me Cause do you know nature, he didn't raise no duds So if a cell tries stopping me I'd be out on proteins, my sight's cocked And BAMP is me, real natural Prospecting is a challenge, fermenting in my cell broth A bioassay is all that can find me 
Isolate me and take me to purify Back to the basic pH full of nitrogen Power to the after group, a lot of power in neurons We the block for the pathway, the analog of dopamine Alkaloid vamps, we still in the game Years later, more drugs and the source of the same Straight neurotransmitter, making them fire Testing all day to find the pathways We're getting the truth, I found cells work Playing God with the circuits I seen vamps put papers in the journals of science They say tepertide don't live that long Too many hot stop Messed up, putting cuffs on angiotensin Polypeptide, the ace enzyme smasher And losing the hypertension, we bring in the ending You know nature, you're just about to make me Now your baby don't became a drug When I'm out on themselves, the only, the only way they see is me Metabolism changes to me Cause you know nature, you didn't raise no duds So if a cell tries stopping me I'd be out on proteins, my sight's cocked And BAMP is me Real natural. Yeah, my mother ain't made no sucker. Raised as a steroid, I'm no major missable. All I know is get cholesterol out all day. I'ma do it one way or another. And ain't nobody else fight on sterile. Call me Stanley, you're nothing, I'm sterile. Mix a little bit of hydrogen with big rings in my cool, and you got me. Real analog, I never cholesterol. With active competition, I absorb better in the stomach. And I keep you well good condition. Don't you wanna be like me when you grow up? A piece of tetracycline, good binder. Cells want proteins, I got the protein blocker. Ribosomes, that's my goal. Plus disease, that's an antibiotic. So class, can someone give me one example each of every single class of compound that I discussed today? Oh, tepertides are from animals, tetracyclines are from microbes, and alkaloids and phytosterols are from plants. Very good! I guess you weren't sleeping after all. What is this? What are these subtitles doing here? I speak perfect English. This is an insult. I'm leaving.